Welcome back everyone to the next installment of Skies of Arcadia. We have a job to do. And that job is to raid the Colosseum. We are going to, at long last, see if we can save our father and friends. Into the catacombs we go. Welcome. This is where Marco lives, I'll remind you. Pleasant music. And yes, fights exist. Hi. Drownog? I mean, why not? I'll take it. Okay, got him. That was fun. Good. The more people who know Incrim, the better, so I don't have to rely on a particular person to cast the spell. Oh, good. Okay, there's just nothing here. Like, this liquid is straight up green. Not happy about that. Goody. So there are some rare drops that I would like if I could get them. But we'll see how that plays out, or if. Ooh. Oh wow, a whole set of new enemy types. Mind Stealers. Cryalhound, Basalish, like, I, alright, <laughs> I don't even know. I wonder, well, let's, try, let's try the Spirit Charge. Six just for that? My god, that's fantastic. That was a better shot than I thought. Okay. Oh wow! The Mind Stealers are like these creepy bugs and they're just wearing the person. That's messed up. God, that's twisted. That's really gross. Glad that missed, by the way. Oh. I definitely want these things to go away. You will not be missed. Nice hook. And now Aika's leveled up. And has learned Pyrus. Good. Uh, ironically enough, the Mind Stealers are my friends. I want a rare drop from them if I can get it.
Also, I could finally switch off of my red affinity. Oh my god, where are we going? Moving on. Curia Crystal times three. I will happily take it. And a Pyrie box, so I can cast Pyrie probably seven or eight times. That's what this area was for. Back to actually navigating the dungeon. This music. Also, where am I going? Oh god, there's like two levels of this map. This is brutal. Man, it's just one battle after another. Moving right down. Because... Heavy armor. What do you think? It's actually less good for vice. Very thick and heavy armor made for a man. Offers protection against physical attacks. Okay, but how about Drachma? Better than Valoon, it's gotta be. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's a new enemy type. Cyrat? Cyrat? In any case, mine stealers, I think, take priority because they can tank. So much for the bats. About that chest. Nice. Sacred, good. Drachmas needed that. Assassin blade, huh? It's way better. A favorite among assassins of the world, mainly because it has a chance to poison its target. So I have a weapon that could just do that. Can't wait to see what that looks like. Anyway, as I was exploring. I gotta say, this is a very simple dungeon to navigate, even for me. Everything is one way. Although, what in the world? What is... Man, I forgot everything's a sky island, so you can have a hole in the floor in the sewers that lead to, like... An abyss. All right. Look at this. No pressure. I wonder if I could get into fights there. Oh. Save point A. Eh? We do have a save point here, but I think I'm going to try to level before I hit it, just because I'm really close with Vice Naika.
Ah, quicker. Well, what could that be? Doubles the speed of all allies and makes it easier to run. All allies, that's pretty amazing. Okay, Drachma leveled up, and Vice learned quicker. Alright, I think it's time we actually moved on. Let's go ahead and save. Ha! Ah, feels good. You know we're coming up on something big. Oh, could this actually be a way out of this? Okay. Don't mind the skulls. That's the boss. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah, let's. I was really hoping I could go first. Oh, wow. There we go. Poison it? Oh, God. Ew. Great. Oh, that actually does a lot. Okay. Let's do this. You do that. You cure yourself. You give magic to vice. Let's try this. Ew. You know, if this thing's using frost breath, maybe I should switch to red. For God's sake. Let's try this. This boss is actually a challenge. And this is after I leveled. Yeah, I think red was the right decision. Although we did use Increm, but even so. Enough with the damn Frost Breath! Oh. 
You know, I'll try the Cutlass Fury, although I am morbidly curious about what Tackle would be like. You know, if I'm doing 300 damage without the Tackle... Yeah, Drachma would probably hit like a freaking truck. I mean, I might as well double down on this while I can. It's just attacking, and it even gets a free counter. We're almost gone. I could even do a Cutlass Fury again, but I think we're good. Done. Every monster explodes. Whew! I'm gonna go to level 12, actually. Oh, Vidal Seed. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and level slightly before I go to the, uh, the real boss, because we're not in the Colosseum yet. Crystallis for Vice. Okay, I think I might be decently leveled up. Let's go ahead and save. And now let's make our grand entrance. This ought to be good. Awfully quiet. Look at this floor. Even the walls. It looks like this ladder leads straight up into the Colosseum. <laughs> oh boy. And now we present the executions of the notorious air pirate Dine and his treacherous band of blue rogues. Their crimes include attacking Imperial airships and stealing precious cargo. The price of stealing from Valua is high, and Dine and his pitiful band will pay with their heads. Looks like he gave up after all. I knew it. Huh? Vice! Hurry! Run for the opening of the floor! Hi everyone, I missed you guys. We're here to rescue you. Come on, let's go. Well, how very bold of you. You have deprived the audience from witnessing the deaths of a notorious band of air pirates. Now they will witness your execution. I don't know why you're all upset. The audience already got to watch us free your friends and trash your guards. 
Now they get to watch us beat the snot out of you. What more could they want? By the way, the name's Vice. This fight is hard. At least I remember it being hard. This was an actual stopping point for me when I first played the game. I had to reload my save. Okay. I'm gonna have to really prepare myself here. Let's go ahead... How much does Incrim cost? I think it was expensive. Yeah, four. Ooh. You know what? Incrim on myself. Focus and super focus. Yeah, uh, these guys like to buff their boss, and that guy looks buff enough already, if you ask me. Moons, give me strength. Vice and Drachma can get buffed. I mean, I guess I can buff Aika too for defensive purposes, but Vice and Drachma are the heavy hitters. Oh god. Oof. Attack the lackeys. Buff Drachma. Attack the lackeys. Actually, what the hell? Let's give Ayako a boost. Oh, thank God. Oh boy, level 2 electricity. Okay, now I can take a hit for a little while. My problem is these spell wardens, they are a major problem. They just hit you with everything they got. And that's a problem, too. Wait, he's healing his boss? What an idiot. Wait, who was I attacking? Okay, good. Good. I do not need these guys helping their friend. Perfect. This guy's hard enough without buffs. That's- this is why. He has Drachma's move. Oh my god. Alright. Say Chris on myself. Say Chris on Drachma. And super tackle. Let's try this. You go. Okay, good, I'm safe. At least for now. Now for the fun part. Wow. Okay. This guy uses electricity, which is yellow. What was opposed to yellow? Well, it looks like blue is good against yellow, so let's go with that. I assume this guy is yellow anyway. Jeez, I gotta heal Aika. Um. 
Oh, okay, as long as he's not going for Ika, these other guys can deal. But that hurts so bad. God, even when I'm prepared, this fight is hard. Alright, let's do a blue tackle. Oh, wow, that's better. Let's try this. Here goes. Okay, we got this in the bag. Oh. Uh, and again, that's with 25% boost. Let's finish this. Oh. That wasn't so bad. Yeah. That's a lot of XP. An electric box and a free sacred crystal. Hooray. Oh. There's just confetti. <laughs> yes. Executed the Executioner. Now we get the hell out of here. Don't worry, we're not walking all the way back to the beginning. Hey, you really did it. You rescued your friends. I can't believe it. You really are something. Marco, what are you doing here? I told you before, right? I live here. I know everything about these sewers. This wall was built with a secret door. I took your friends into the secret room just behind me. Say green crystals times four. Magic Drapple times four, just in case you needed it. When they were moving us, they put us on some sort of rail car. I've never seen anything like that before in my whole life. They got these metal boxes all lined up, one after the other. Like some big, long bug. That's one strange way to get places. So a train. You never cease to amaze me. I never would have thought I'd see you here. But I'm glad you showed up. We all owe you one. There are no signs of anyone following us, but it's probably just a matter of time before they find this place, too. Now we just have to try to figure out a way to get out of Valua. <laughs> Easier said than done, I suppose, but we made it this far, at least. I can't believe you actually did advice. You showed those Valuans a thing or two. Haha, <laughs> you were great. It's been a while since I've had so much fun. How often do we get to pound on balloons in their own country? What a badass. Alright, we managed to get out of the Colosseum, but now what? We still have to get out of Valua, and that's no easy task by any measure. You were a little late, Vice. If you were any later, I'd be a whole head shorter right now. Vice, I always knew you were tough, but breaking into a public execution and freeing all of us? Now I think you're crazy, too. What can I say? I'm not ready to take over as head of the Dying Family just yet. Wait a minute. Where's Fina? Fina? When they captured us from Pirate Isle, they took her somewhere else. I overheard some soldiers talking about her. Sounded like she was taken to the Valuan Imperial Palace. <gasps> what? Why was she taken to the palace? It appears that the Empress herself wanted to meet Fina. I've got a feeling that there's more to that girl than meets the eye. She knows something important enough to have Valua after her. Fina. Vice, what are you going to do? 
gotta go save her, right? Of course we have to go save Fina. The guards are scattered. The whole island is in chaos. Hmm. It'll be dangerous, but it looks like now is our best chance to strike. Here, take this with you, Vice. It's a little early to be giving this to you, but considering the circumstances, I'll make an exception. Wow, it's your yellow moonstone. Thanks, Dad. If you use it with your weapons, they'll take on the properties of lightning. I will take all the air pirates back to the Little Jack. We'll be waiting for you. You need to be the Little Jack when they open the gates. Uh-huh. I know. When the gates open, it's our only chance to escape. Huh. First, you'll want to go to the upper city. You might be able to sneak aboard a rail car that's on its way to the palace. I see. Upper city, huh? Marco, how do I get to upper city from here? Um, if you go down that tunnel over there, you'll reach upper city. But there are tons of guards in Upper City. You shouldn't go. It's too dangerous. I'm ready for anything, Marco. In the midst of the storm, I can see the one path that will get us out of Alua. I've got to try. Let's go, Aika. we got to save Fina. Chakma has left the party. Yellow Moonstone. We now can do uh, five colors. Red, blue, green, purple, and now yellow. And everyone's out. Let's peace out. Also, I wonder how far we have to go. We did just beat a dungeon, so I don't think they're going to be too cruel, but you never know. <laughs> they're making us work for it. Oh, wow, okay. Free Moonberry. <laughs> Good, back in the gross water. Assuming it's water. But it looks like we might be out. And there's a dead end, so we gotta be hitting up a ladder soon. Okay, we are out. Wait, Vice. Marco, you followed us? What's wrong? Vice, don't go, please. My my mother and father were both killed by Valuan soldiers while they were trying to escape from this city. There's no way out. Trying to get through the Grand Fortress is impossible. No one has ever escaped from Valua. You're gonna die this time. I just know it. Your parents. I'm I'm sorry to hear that, Marco. But I have to go. I don't have a choice. And every time I hear the word impossible, it makes me want to prove everyone wrong. A long time ago, a handful of soldiers took a small boat out into Uncharted Skies. They had no idea what they would find. Monsters, a maelstrom, the end of the world. It was because these sailors challenged the unknown that new lands were discovered. If we challenge ourselves and never give up, our own horizons will broaden, in our hearts and in our minds. I need to push myself every day. I have to know what I can accomplish. I never give up, and so far nothing has ever stopped me. But, but, Vice. Don't worry about me. I believe that we'll make it out. I will find a way. That's what's keeping me going. I'm going to prove that it's not impossible to escape. Impossible is just a word to let people feel good about themselves when they quit. Vice, do you think I could ever be a sailor? If I could ever sail the skies? Uh huh. <laughs> of course. You've got what it takes. I'll be waiting for you. Out there. 
Thank you. Lord Gelsian brings good news, your majesty. Indeed I do. Your highness, I am sure you will be pleased. As you have requested, my forces have captured a Sylvite. Ruler of the Valuan Empire, Empress Theodora I. Ah, excellent work, Gelsian. You have yet to fail me. So, this is what a Sylvite looks like. Hmm, such a beautiful girl. Her clothes are interesting. A nice specimen. Today, we have taken another step closer to our main objective. Soon, the Valuan Empire shall rule the world. You seem sad, young one. Why do you not rejoice with us? You shall witness our finest hour. You have the knowledge that we seek. You can assist us. <laughs> All who oppose us shall fall. Their islands will be reduced to ash and dust. Anyone who stands in our way will be destroyed. And you, young one, shall help us. Prince of Alua, Enrique. Mother, ruling the world by force is not something that I am sure I approve of. An empire that does not listen to the plight of its people is destined to fall. Enrique, you still have much to learn. You cannot walk the path of an emperor and concern yourself with the petty worries of the people. But, mother... Now, now, Enrique, I am building an empire for you. Since you shall inherit the throne when I pass on, you should pay more attention. Well then, young lady. I know that there are six moon crystals and that they have been scattered all over the world. I also know that he who controls the moon crystals controls weapons of mass destruction. I believe your people refer to them as... Gigas. When the Gigas are ours, we shall rule the world. Now, young lady, you will tell me where to find the moon crystals. I will die before I tell you. What did you say? You do not understand how powerful the Gigas really are. The Gigas were great weapons of destruction built by the Old World. They are more powerful than you can imagine. And that is precisely why Valua must obtain these weapons. <laughs> wow. Since we are the most powerful empire, we should have full control over them, and once we have them, we shall rule the world. No. Humans must never control the moon crystals and the Gigas ever again. Power-hungry dictators like you are the reason humans must never control them. You dare insult me? The Empress of the Great Valuan Empire? In my own palace? Kill her! Kill her! Kill the little wench! Off with her head! Mother. Mother, think about what you are saying! You cannot kill her, she's done nothing wrong. Are you saying that this girl is innocent, Enrique? Even after she insulted me so? Kill her! Kill her now! Please, you must believe me. The power of the Gigas is not to be underestimated. Silence, wench. You shall pay for your insolence. Lord Galsey and I bring urgent news. Someone has broken into the Colosseum and freed the Blue Rogues. Hmm? What? I am on my way. Take the girl to the ship and bring her to the Grand Fortress immediately. Yes, Lord Galsian. Your Majesty, I request permission to deploy the Armada. I will take the girl with me and she will guide me to the Moon Crystals. <laughs> Very well then, use the power of the Armada and bring the crystals to me. Of course, Your Majesty. However, I have but one humble request. I would like to request that a new addition be made to our highest ranking officers. I would like to recommend my Vice Captain Ramirez for the position. Do as you wish. In return, I want you to give me your word that you will bring me those crystals. Yes, Your Majesty. 
You heard the Admiral. Get off. Ramirez? Curiouser and curiouser. We better get going. Well, they're not going to kill Fina, but we're probably going to miss her by the time we get to where we need to be. There's a save point. I'm going to hit that up. I'll explore more of Upper Valua. Later. And now that we have all of that taken care of, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We took care of Lower Valua, we infiltrated the sewers, we even managed to save our father and our crew members, all in full view of the public, in front of everyone. So, everyone managed to escape, along with Drachma, well, they're not out of Valua, but they're at the boat. Meanwhile, we have to go through Upper Valua because we want to see if we could save Fina. If all goes well, we'll get that done and re uh, rendezvous at the Little Jack, but we'll see if we get to them in time. It looks like they might be taking her elsewhere already. So either way, I hope we at least make it to the Little Jack in one piece. Until next time, everyone.